the power of testimony. Welcome to UNHD. This is Reverend Eric Miller. Uh, we have our second testimony today. This one comes from uh, Portia. Um, Portia is a very phenomenal woman. She has been a, a backbone to me at my job and when I've had uh, some struggles at work she's always been there and uh, she's been a big supporter of the ministry and uh, I just wanted to share uh, her testimony with you today because I asked some, uh, a question about where she's going and, and what has Christ done for her and she answered a very powerful thing and I enjoyed listening to her response and uh, we'll record and listen to it for yourself. This is Portia, this is one of my sisters in Christ and uh, Portia say hello. Hello. Uh, and this be real quick. What has Christ done for you in your life personally? What can you, if you could sum it up, and uh, well, that's a lot because there's right. many, many years to go. But He has made me realize a lot of things. Like um, you can have anything you want in life if you just mm -hmm. set your mind to it. Anything that you've gone through in the past that you're angry at or you wonder why, there's a reason for it. And if you just pay attention, you'll find out why. Right. That's huge. I know that's happened for me. Uh, what advice would you give to, to a Christian that's struggling with, uh, with, with staying faithful and uh, struggling with uh, you know, any, any forms of like, uh, trial tribulations, uh, like this young kid we both know together who struggled very hard? What, do you, what would you tell a young person or anybody that's uh, struggling in that area? If a person that's struggling with anything, I mean, drug abuse, alcoholism, uh, just any kind of abuse at all, the best thing to do is stay reading. And it doesn't always have to be the Bible. It can be all kinds of different things you can read and listen to videos and listen to CDs. Always. Thank, thank you, Portia. I appreciate that, and uh, God bless you. Thank you. I just want to say thank you, Portia, for sharing that testimony. Um, she said some very key things in there. There's a lot of books that are written out there about Christ, um, and big or inspirations by Christ, I'm sorry. Um, this, this, Max Licato writes a lot of great books. Joel Osteen writes a, tr a tremendous amount of great books. Uh, Joyce Myers writes a lot of books. T.D. Jakes, so on and so forth. There's a lot of great inspiration out there um, that can help someone that may not be as learned or may be well read or may not have been anointed to understand the Bible just yet. But these books are designed to, to, to kind of help you bridge that gap um, to getting you to that word and, and making that word make sense some. Because I, I know it can be very tough. Well, even with the numerous amount of translations out there, it can be very tough. I had a long conversation last night with, some, with, a, with a great young man about, you know, and they struggled with the Bible translations. But there's a lot of great books out there that can inspire you, that have been, uh, that I know for a fact has been God-driven for these men to write these books. These men and women to write these great books. I've read many of them myself. Uh, very good authors, very good uh, work that they've done. And that's what we're here to talk about today. So thank you, Portia, for sharing your testimony. This is UNHDonline.com. Uh, of course, you can find us there. You also can find us on YouTube on UNHD TV. You can also find us on Facebook.com slash GodBuilt. This is Reverend Eric.